Hey guys, it's Era22 here, and today I'm doing the first back to school video on my channel um, since last year, and this is the first, like I just said, this is the first back to school video of um, the season, and I love back to school videos. Like these are my favorite to film. I like my favorite ever video to film is like locker decor halls and school supply halls because I love those things um but anyway this is not either of those but it's still back to school so um before I get into this video I'm going to do an update on my hair from yesterday's video so I said in that video that um I would see how long it lasted um because I wasn't planning on washing my hair, um, because I had just washed it the night before, and so, originally, I was supposed to wash my hair tonight, instead of last night, and I'm still gonna do that, because my hair feels disgusting, so I did take a shower last, well, like, obviously, I took a shower, but, like, I washed my hair last night, and, um, it still feels, like, really gross. Um, that's an update. I still have, like, some of the color in my hair. Not as much as I did yesterday. Um, also, the chalk was getting all over my clothes. Like, when I was just wearing my hair in a ponytail. Like, that's how bad it was. So, I had to put it up in a bun. Because it was getting all over my shirt. Um, also, it, like yesterday it felt disgusting so that's why i washed my hair and um like i got out of the shower and i was brushing through my hair i conditioned my hair twice and i was brushing through my hair and um there were still some orange streaks in there um yeah so that's like just an update on how that went um i saw like the pink streak somewhere i can't really see it right now like it's somewhere and yeah so my hair is still like really gross and like tangled um i brushed it multiple times but like i said just an update so um i'm gonna make this a back to school and let's chat video because i think i've done i think i think i've done two let's chat videos on my channel where basically I have a topic and I just use the whole video to sit down and talk to you guys about that topic. So today's topic is high school and how I feel going into high school. So last year I was an eighth grader and this year I'm going into ninth grade. Um, but the way my school does it is um, you are still in the same school. You're just in like high school and you take finals and midterms. And so I've been in this school um, for two years already, seventh and eighth grade. Um, and then this year I'm gonna be ninth, 10th, 11th, 12th. Well, not this year, but like <laughs> in this school still. So I already know like a little bit of how this works. I know like about the lockers and everything um, because in my elementary school, we didn't really have lockers in, like, the hallway, like, and that makes sense, but, um, in this school, we do, and I'm, like, that's just really easy for me to adjust to high school now, um, there's not really that many differences other than, like, the bell times and the, um, like, the tests and the grades and all that stuff and credits, and so, um, my school is pretty good about um, middle schoolers transitioning into high school because one day we met our guidance counselors. They went through everything. They told us credits. We've already um, like laid out our schedule that we would like to have. And um, so we had like a meeting with our guidance counselor. So um, yeah, like my school is pretty good about that. Um, so yeah, so I have my notebook here. I've written down like topics of what I want to talk about in this video. Um, that's just a little sneak peek. And then this also, this notebook was like in my like 
back to school supplies haul from last year that should be like up in the corner either here or here i don't know where but it should be up in the corner somewhere and um i didn't really use it i used i it was supposed to be for english and i've used one two three four five six i've used six of the pages from this composition book so i kind of just took it and am using it for like youtube stuff now i don't know i just thought it would be a good idea so i didn't have to waste a notebook um but anyway so the first topic i think i want to talk about is the classes i chose and why so the um so we picked if we wanted to do honors or um other i forgot like what it's called i think it's just like college prep or something so um you if you wanted to do an honors class you would have to get the teacher to sign a um form like this was the choice sheet that we had to like write down all the preferred classes on and so you had to get your teacher to sign that um you had to actually get it signed either way by every teacher um because they had to like approve that that was like the best option for you to do so um yeah and then we had to choose electives um which are just like classes that like aren't core um if you didn't know but um so we chose electives we had to do three choices um some of them were half a semester or not half a semester a semester or half the year and so we had to put two for each choice um so i'm just going to talk about the classes i chose and wrote down on my sheet so first we have to take the language at my school and so i chose latin one i i don't know the name i think it's latin one um yeah so oh no it's intro to latin so um i think i i don't know so for my foreign language i did latin um that's what i've done for seventh and eighth grade and i'm gonna stick with that one because i know like the basics of it um for um a math class i chose to take honors geometry um so last year in eighth grade i took algebra and the year before that i took accelerated um math which did seventh and eighth grade and then eighth grade i did algebra which isn't really a grade level it's just like a thing and then this year i'm doing honors geometry chose to do honors because i've said this in like my q a video um i really like math so i chose honors and yeah i don't know i just chose honors geometry and then for a science class we the, we had the choice of physics and honors physics. I chose honors physics. Um, and then we had to choose um, an English class. We had honors English and English. So I chose honors English. Um, then we already had a required social studies class, which is, I think, I think it's world history. I think it's world history um and then for wait okay so i did foreign language math science english social studies um i think yeah i've already talked about science okay so next is electives so my first choice for electives was um digital photography one semester and advanced digital photography for the second semester so i did it like that because um so some people chose to i'm not saying this is wrong but it's just how some people did it so some people did like digital photography and then like video editing so but my first choice was digital photography because i like photography i like videos um so my digital photography course was my first choice for one semester because that's only a semester class and then um 
for the second semester, I had to choose another one to go along with my first choice. I chose advanced di digital photography so that I wouldn't forget anything from digital photography and I could still just keep like the topic in for the whole year if I get that choice. My second choice was um, video editing and advanced video editing. So um, I did the same thing there. And um, so I did the same thing there, and sorry about that. That's, like, not important. But I did the same thing f with my second choice, and um, so, like I just said, I like videos, and I want to learn more about editing, so that's why my second choice was that class, and my school is good, and it provided that choice for me to have, so, um, I chose that for my second choice, and then for second semester, I did the same thing I did with digital photography and advanced digital photography. So, yeah. And then my third choice, I don't even remember what it was. It was so hard for me to pick a third choice because my first two choices were all I really wanted. Um, my third choice, I think, had something to do with, like, finance um, and, like, something else. Um I don't even remember my third choice. I really hope I don't get my third choice. Um, but, so there is an elective that's finance, and I think that's important. So I'm going to probably take that in, like, during my high school career, um, because I think it's important for me to know that stuff and, like, how to do taxes and just, like, credit and stuff. So um, that's... The class, oh, also, I have to take gym three quarters of the year, I believe, and then health one quarter. So that's how it was in middle school for me, too. Um, so that's not really anything different for me. Um, so I've already talked about classes and why I chose them. Um, next topic is summer reading. So at my school, we do summer reading. I know some schools don't actually do this, um, but we do, and it's horrible. I hate summer reading so much, um, and the books they choose are just never interesting to me. They always choose, like, history-themed books. I don't like that type of stuff. Like, others might. I just don't. Um, I like to read my own type of books during summer, but I still have to read this book. So, throughout middle school, we did a book, and then you had to write, like, a paragraph or an essay on that um, during summer, and this year, it's a little bit different, me going into high school, um, we're reading a book, and then we don't have to do any writing during the summer, but the first week of school, we have tests on the plot, and I think that that's not the greatest idea, because I feel like some kids will read the book early on in summer and then go into school having read the book and know, like, the big idea, but when they go to take the test, they will forget the details that they, that the teachers think are important, so, um, they might not do that well on the test, so that's just my opinion on that. I, once again, I don't think that's the best idea. I think writing essays is easier than taking tests and I think it's multiple tests, all in the first week of school, which is, like, a lot to take in, and, um, like I said about, like, the plot points, they, I probably will forget plot points that I read about, like, a month before school started, and then I have tests the first week of school, which, like, I'm going on a rant now, I'm sorry, but, like, this just, like, makes me a little uncomfortable, and it just, like, it's hard for me to understand why we would do this, um, because I just think it's, like, not great for students, because students get stressed, and they're already stressed the first week of school, and then we get more stressed from, um, the summer reading, and I think it's just easier to write the essay, because you're not pressured, um, so, yeah, that's my thoughts on summer reading and the way my school does it. Um, so, yeah. So, the next 
point I want to talk about is what I'm nervous about going into high school. So, I'm not nervous about, I'm not as nervous as I was in seventh grade. I've, I'm, so going into seventh grade, it was a whole new school for me, um, all new kids, and, like, I was nervous about would I miss the bus and um, how much homework am I going to have. And homework is still, like, something I'm nervous about going into high school this year because I'm taking all honors classes. So I'm concerned that, like, I'm going to have a lot of homework. But I did choose all honors classes. Um, so I think that's, just, like, my fault. But still, I think that... Um, I'm kind of nervous about the amount of homework because um, I thought that it would just be, like, a tiny bit more. Like, ever since I was, like, little, I thought every year I'd get a tiny bit more and I'd be used to the more homework or more of the homework, so I wouldn't be that stressed out. But um, I don't know. So, like, I'm still a tiny bit nervous about homework, um, but I'm sure I'll find a way to get it done. Um, so, yeah. And then um, another thing I'm nervous about is midterms and finals. So at my school, we have to take exams in the middle of the year and at the end of the year. So I'm just nervous about those because I hate tests. Um, so, yeah, that's just, I feel like a lot of kids are nervous about that. Um, so, yeah. So also, like I was talking about before I said the things I was nervous about, like, I've already experienced a lot from my 7th and 8th grade years. So, like, I'm not nervous about gym. I'm nervous about credits this year. Like, I don't, like, yeah. I said in the beginning of this video that um, my school prepared me and told me about credits. I forgot most of the things they said. Um, so, yeah. So, I'm kind of nervous about that. Um, and then... So, I think that's all I'm nervous about. So, then, the next point is what I'm excited for. So, there's not a lot I'm excited for going into high school. I think um, going into seventh grade, I was more excited because um, I got more independence. And I got my locker in the hallway. And I didn't have to share a locker. And, yeah, so, I'm not... Since I'm in the same school, I'm not really excited for anything going into high school. Um, I think I'm mainly excited to go to, like, homecoming. Um, my friends and I have actually been talking about that since, like, middle of eighth grade. Which, like, yeah. Um, so, I'm excited for high, or homecoming in high school because we weren't allowed to go to that because that's high school dance. And so, I'm excited for homecoming. Next thing is um relationships so going into high school I think so I think high school will be a lot easier um I said that I was like stressed about um tests and homework I think that's going to be so much easier because I have my friends and my friends and I like have a good relationship um so yeah um the last thing I want to talk about are, like, how, like, tips, like, I haven't been to high school yet, but I have tips for, like, how to be comfortable, and that's just, like, spend time with your friends, and, um, don't, like, isolate yourself, and I would recommend doing your homework, that's what helped me a lot, I always did my homework, though, so, yeah, I recommend doing your homework, spending time with friends still, don't let homework eat away at you. Um, you still have to make time for yourself and make time to spend with your friends. So, anyway, thank you all so much for watching. That's the end of this video. Um, please subscribe and like the video if you enjoyed it. Thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you all later. Bye!